everyone so I really wanted to do a tag today and I couldn't really find one that I I liked and that I wanted to do so I thought why not just make one up so I put a bunch of questions in my phone and let's get started let's see how many questions there are and bringing it back to my childhood I thought I'd do my hair all big and poofy because I had the biggest poofiest curly hair I have naturally kind of wavy hair but because it wasn't straight or wavy I used to get my hair permed um, but especially in the 80s, I got it permed like a crimp. So they, I would get my hair braided in like 200 little tiny braids. They would put perm tonic on it and then my hair would be like permanently crimped. So question number one is, who is one cartoon or TV character you wanted to be as a child? I totally wanted to be Jem. Jem Jem, truly outrageous. I don't know if you guys remember, but she had um, little stud earrings that she would touch and she would turn into a rocker. And before that she was just kind of like a normal person and so i always always um loved jam and the miss was it the misfits yeah the three bad girls um but i just loved it when she turned into a rocker because she had like pink hair i just thought she was like the coolest person and i remember having a gem uh sweatshirt and it said like gem in pink and like there was like a little diamond on the J and I thought it was so cool. So mine would definitely be Jim. What toy did you want but never got? Okay, so growing up, me and my sister did not have a lot of toys at all. We, w we didn't have a lot of money, um, but we were around kids that always had super cool toys, you know? Like, we, I don't even think we had any Barbies. I think, I think someone had given us a Barbie or two, but we didn't have like clothes for Barbies you know people had like trunks of clothes anyways probably one of the toys that I always always wanted and I like dreamed about all the time was I really wanted a Teddy Ruxpin and I don't know if you guys remember who Teddy Ruxpin is but it was like a bear that like talked to you um, and so I really really wanted a Teddy Ruxpin but I think they were really expensive what was your favorite toy as a child um, like I said we didn't have a whole lot of toys um, I can probably think of two. First one was a Cabbage Patch Kid. My uncle, I remember, he like waited in line forever to get me and my sister each a Cabbage Patch Kid. And I got a boy Cabbage Patch Kid, which is actually kind of funny. He had brown hair, his name was Albert. Um, he had brown hair and green eyes. And so I carried him around with me everywhere. And I just remember like every night, like looking at his face and sticking my finger like in his dimples. Um, so Albert was my favorite and then, um, I also had a little purple popple. I don't know if you guys remember what popples were. They're like little furry animal monster things and you could flip it and it turned into like a ball. Um, and the normal ones were like this size but I had like a mini one and it was purple and I loved it. Um, it's so funny when you think back at stuff like I can totally remember even what it smelled like. Okay, next is something you wore that you thought was so cool. Okay, so I had humongous glasses and this is when those glasses that like covered your whole face were in and like, you know, the really cool girl had like the transition where it was like pink turning into blue and I remember it started becoming cool to put on those sticky puffy stick on earrings like in the corner of your glasses. So um, we would have like a puffy pink heart or like a puffy star, you know, on the rims of our glasses and we just thought it was like so cool. I remember thinking I was pretty cool when I did that, but anyway. Trend that should make a comeback. It's funny, I wrote these questions and I didn't really think of the answer. I think all trends kind of come back in some way or another, you know, they kind of come back modified. But I guess the trend that I'm kind of liking now that I guess it kind of came back, you know, back in the day people wore like leggings and tights with a big baggy sweater and like high top. So I guess, yeah, I guess that would be it like acid wash jeans. I, I've been wearing my acid wash jeans a lot lately. So a trend that should never come back, probably the bushy eyebrows and then your eyeshadow from the lower lash up into the bushy eyebrows. I just remember like, you know, just like the non-blended, just bam eyeshadow. I think that should probably never make a comeback. The next question is, what was your first perfume in like middle school, junior high? And um, I don't remember if I ever had this or if it's just everyone else had this, but okay, the perfume to have was exclamation. And I don't know if that was like a Canadian thing because you could like find it in the drugstore, but it was like a round bottle and it was exclamation point. And I feel like all the girls wore exclamation. And I remember always putting it on, but I don't remember if it was mine or if it was my friend's. So 
I would have to say exclamation. Okay, a food or snack that you miss from your childhood. Okay, there's certain things that I feel like when I think about it, it just totally takes me back to when I was a kid. First thing would be candy, would be bonkers. And I don't know if you guys know what bonkers are, but they're kind of like Starburst, but they're like darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. They're like chewy, taffy kind of. Um, but I used to always get orange and my sister used to always get grape. So we would always trade. So bonkers and strawberry shortcake cereal. They were like corn puffs, but the Canadian version of corn puffs, not the American version. Little round pink balls. And as you would eat it, your milk would turn into strawberry milk. So I really miss that. What is the first album that you owned okay we used to put cassette tapes in the like boom box and then we'd listen to the radio and then when a song came on that we'd like would press record real quick and then we would make our own mixtape and like listen to it on our walkman um, but I think the first like actual album that I owned was color me bad um, because I remember hiding it from my parents all the time because they had I want to sex you up and what was the other song but I, I anyways I just remember my mom finding the cassette tape and it had the word sex on it so she like freaked out and she made me throw it away and I was like so heartbroken because I loved Color Me Bad. First piece of makeup, I didn't wear makeup for a really really long time so I want to say my first piece of makeup was probably clear mascara and I thought it was so cool wearing it even though I don't have any eyelashes. First concert that you ever went to, my first concert was Boys to Men and Brandy was opening for them so that was pretty cool. So anyways those are the questions. I would love for you guys to do this tag. I will tag a bunch of people below. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll talk to you later. Bye!